You're watching TVC Breakfast. The effect of the coronavirus has led to a shutdown of schools in Nigeria. The academic calendar may have been disrupted, but the schools, some schools rather, have also devised a means to positively engage pupils and students of public schools during this period. With the aid of technology, they can actually access their lessons and other activities on the internet. Joining me via Skype is UK-based education advocate, Runke Adeagbo. Good morning, and thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. Good morning, Veronica. Thanks for having me. Now, uh, the number of children under 14 years are estimated uh, at uh, 42.2 million. That's according to UNICEF. Uh, it's seeing, and rather, if I may summarize the statement that UNICEF is trying to say, is that uh, a lot of children are being impacted by the coronavirus pandemic, especially uh, because they do not have access to perhaps the internet, uh, especially those in rural areas. How concerning is this for you? And that the number of uh, uh, out-of-school children might rise. Okay. Right. Um, it's very interesting that this is happening now because um, the IA Foundation, which I'm the founder of, has been in partnership with Rural Education prior to the COVID-19, and we've been piloting, giving students devices in Ogun State. This is even before the COVID-19. So this is something we've been working on and which we were planning to roll out to the whole federation before the COVID-19. So in my opinion, we ought to have been doing this a bit much earlier and it shouldn't have been triggered by COVID-19. So now that uh, COVID-19 has triggered this, how do we strike a balance and ensure that uh, every child has access to education via whether virtually or not post-COVID-19? Right. Um, I'd like to use Lagos State as a point in case, actually, because what Lagos State has done now, actually, is actually to roll out this device. They've partnered up with the corporate world as part of the corporate world's um, corporate social responsibility to actually buy devices for students and actually give it out to all their students within the Lagos State public schools to make sure they can access um, the online um, um, uh, syllabus, which um, the Lagos State government has rolled out already. So Lagos State is ahead of the curve. Edo State is also doing something similar. Just yesterday, the governor launched the Edo Best at home. So those two states, Edo and um, Lagos State, have been doing that already. And I'll just encourage the remaining states to also cut in on and do that as well, so but, that all these kids could get education. But some have talked about concerns of not ha uh, having electricity because what uh, Lagos State is doing, using um, the media uh, as, a, as a point of access to children on radio and television. But uh, a lot of persons are saying people do not have access to electricity just as they do not have access to the internet as well. Yeah, I mean, TV and um, internet or devices are two separate things, basically. Um, you'll be surprised at the number of people that haven't got television in Nigeria. So that's why the device, using the device, the, the, the laptops, the uh, iPhone, the, the telephones, and also the um, um, tablets are, is a better means of actually getting to these kids. Now, as I said earlier, we need to partner with the corporate world to make sure they can actually invest in this and make sure all the kids have got these devices. Also, I'm not naive not to think about safeguarding of the kids and making sure the kids don't go onto other websites which they are not required to go onto. Mm. Using, um, in partnership with Raw Education, they make sure they've restricted the students' access to the syllabus on these platforms. So in my opinion, this is the way to go and other states need to cut in on to this to partner up with rural education to make sure they can roll this out to all kids and make sure they get education whilst under the lockdown. Now, in terms of measuring uh, uh, the progress uh, and impact on a child, uh, do you think that uh, virtual schooling has, has, uh, will be able to achieve as much as uh, what you have one-on-one -on -one schooling that we have always had uh, in Nigeria uh, when you compare both? I mean, without a doubt, there's nothing as good as one-on-one -on -one tuition. It's the best. But in this day of technology, we've got to harness technology and use it to our benefit, especially in this COVID-19 era. Because whether we like it or not, the world has changed forever. 
And even before COVID-19, the Western world and some parts of Nigeria have already caught on to this technology. So it's the way to go. It's, it's, it's a digital, digital economy out there. And the earlier we get to terms with that, the better for everyone. So in my opinion, one-to-one -one is becoming old-fashioned, is becoming obsolete, and digital technology is the way to go. A lot of persons were looking forward to the president reopening schools, like we see in either, I think, the U.S. or the U.K. schools. If, uh, if they are to reopen, students are to wear uh, face masks to school. Do you think that perhaps that is something we could also adopt here? I mean, without a doubt, things are not going to be the same again. We're going to have to observe social distancing, even when things are sort of going back to normal. So we have to come to terms that this is now going to be our reality, um, making sure that we are, we're keeping away and making sure we, we um, make sure this virus doesn't go, go across any further than it has. Luckily, kids have got a better immunity than adults. So I'm hoping with the use of face masks, our kids will be safer with, the, with adequate social distances within the classroom. So hopefully we start getting back to some sense of decency or uh, normality, basically. How how do we build on this, uh, moving forward quickly before we wrap up, how do we build on this to end uh, the issues uh, that has to do with uh, out-of-school children across uh, even the world, not just in Nigeria? Yeah, it's very interesting that this technology actually lends itself well to out-of-school school kids. So far, we can get the right sponsorship and the right partnership. For kids, especially in the North, that uh, do not, not want their kids to go to school for whatever reasons, maybe security issues or things like that. Actually, the sponsors can get these devices to their homes so the kids can still get adequate in the, in education within the four walls of their home. So I think this technology lends itself nicely to uh, children out of school, which is one of the biggest problems we have in Nigeria. So even when we get back to normal, we still have the issue of kids out of school. Therefore, this e-learning platform will be very valuable for these kids to make sure they can get education as well, even though it's outside of the classroom. All right, Runke Adeagbo, thank you for speaking with us.